Welcome <laughs> to Toilet Philosophy episode four. Wow, I'm gonna do my best to start shitting out Toilet Philosophy episodes every two weeks, so keep an eye out for that. And I also want to start, start a segment called Turd Talk where I bring on somebody else. We are both, in a sense, toilet philosophizing, but in a turd talk kind of way. Anyhow, episode four is about shape shift. Uh, episode three was about shape shifting. Episode two was about thoughts. Episode one was about twin energy. So I'm making episode four about spirit, guys, to give you an understanding of why I do what I do. All right. I probably still have to put a little clearing there, but that's okay. So, spirit guides. I've had a really interesting journey with spirit guides. Um, I said that as 111 came on. So, and this really interesting journey with spirit guides, I've noticed different ways of recognizing them. spirit guides one of them is a thought that won't leave you alone that keeps telling you go there go there go there talk to that person talk to that person talk to that person do that do that do that whatever that thought is that is in your in a sense a guide um now also when you get something that's like touching you something that grabs you something pushes you or just pinches your skin or you get the prickles or whatever and it's one of those thoughts, it's along with one of those thoughts that tells you to do something. Now, a lot of us are, are looking to live beyond the means of our current situation. A lot of us have dreams that we're told, chase your dreams, make your dreams reality. And we don't know how in that, what it comes down to is it's not in a conventional way. It's never in a way that we can plan. It's never in a way that we can fully understand. But it is in a way that we can listen to. And if you listen to your spirit guides, they will tell you how to do something. So my guides have showed me many different things in my life, have taken me to many different areas. My guides have kept, it, kept me from getting robbed while I was living in my vehicle. My guides are the reason why I make these toilet philosophy videos. Now, originally it started from a good friend, um named S, who is such a sweetheart, and I was just snapping myself on the toilet, and she told me to make a toilet, or call it toilet philosophy, and it turned into a YouTube channel. Um, not a channel, but a segment. Anyhow, and a couple weeks ago, I was, like, really getting a push, a slap by some type of spirit, something that was saying to me, you need to make another toilet philosophy video, and I was getting it for a couple months, and I kept pushing it off, and finally... While I was going to take a shit at work, I grabbed my phone, I set it down, I recorded a video, and it is absolutely blown out of the waters now. Uh, something that I wasn't expecting. I mean, my other videos were at a couple thousand, and I thought, you know, yeah, it'll hit a couple thousand in a year. No, 30,000 or more in two weeks, which, whoa, that's a lot. And I know it's because, you know, you can shoot my ass and whatever. A lot of you have weird fetishes, which is totally okay, but what you don't realize is that you are clicking on my video because you do need to hear the messages that are being said, because your guides are guiding you to hear something that's deeper than your ego, that's deeper than your programs, that's deeper than this um, let's sell sex world that we all created. There is this magnificence that we have as humans to create and recreate the worlds into what we want and it's almost scary to say that because some of you have these like really disgusting desires and that's okay 
I guess it's not fair for me to judge, but simply observe. Um, and the whole point of this is spirit guides. So to spend just a few more minutes, I want to tell you that the first thing you can do to make contact with your spirit guides is to make an agreement with them. And the agreement would be a sign or a symbol or a number or a sequence of numbers, something that's going to show you that they're there. Now don't pick something that's really fucking obvious. Pick something that you're not going to see often. So for me, I've got the anchor. I've got the orange butterfly. I've got a horn honking, like literally hearing a horn honking in the distance. I have, I have a, I've made a few different agreements along my lifetime. But what you can do is you can pick a sign, like let's say your sign is Tibet. Okay, spirit guides, I'm going to say that when I see Tibet or hear about Tibet, you're around. I'm in the right place and I need to like pay laser attention to what's going on. And that's when the communication with the spirit guides begins to open up is when you tell them, hey, I'm here. This is how... This is how my programs work right now, so this is how I would like to communicate with you. And they will work through whatever you have going on to help guide you in ways. Um, now they will tell you when you can have something, when you shouldn't have something. They'll tell you if you, sh if you can have something, but later on in life, they will show you what path is going to be the easiest. And I feel like that's what most of us are looking for, is the most beneficial path path for us, the easiest path for us, so that we're not struggling, so that we're not hurting emotionally and mentally and physically all the time. Now these paths, they look much different than the influencers on Instagram, they look much different than traveling the world, I want to travel the world. We can travel the world in our minds. A lot of us want to travel the world before we even realize there's millions of miniature worlds going on around us. and. Your spirit guides will help you see that. So start off by contacting them in that way and you will open up to actually hearing them speak to you and guide you in different forms. Uh, spirit guides come in many different forms and it is, it is um, not so important to know what form they're in right away or what their names are or anything like that. But with spirit guides, pay attention to your synchronicities. Pay very, very, very close attention to your synchronicities and that will give you a better understanding and communication with your spirit guides. So, for episode 5, I'm going to talk about synchronicities. Um, I love you all. Thanks for all your goofy comments. I did piss a little bit in here, obviously. I'm going to try to music that out. And I'm going to keep the toilet philosophy going on these different subjects on things that we we really could talk more about that we could learn a little bit more about now this spirit guide one i can feel wasn't like it wasn't juicy you know it wasn't really the meat it wasn't the entree but it was definitely the bridge to other things that we're going to need to learn about that we're going to need to talk about in the future so feel free to keep up with it um, i'll keep posting episodes every couple weeks